we out. In three, two, one. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! It is Halloween week, and these are our sons, D and yeah. Devin. My name is Daniel, and I'm Dennis, and we are the Marzo family. So we are getting ready for Halloween. If you can't tell by the thumbnail what we are going to be for Halloween or the intro of this video, but you may be able to. We are going to be pilots and race car drivers because if you have been following our channel, you know that our boys are obsessed with cars and planes. Like, they're always getting out the obsession is real. Like I was saying, but there's wow. a lot of problem with my work. No, 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 no. He just started a world war here. And it was just perfectly fitting for them. They're always playing with cars, always calling out planes. It's like the first thing we taught them, I think. And they've never forgotten it. So it's just perfect. Whoa! So do I look good or what? So we can't wait to show you how to so we can't wait to show you how it all turned out. It looks fabulous. And oh, you designed them. Yes, designed by our yours truly, Daniel, over here. here I here. designed them. I designed all of their Halloween costumes, and we can talk about it in a minute. But in this video, we'll talk about past Halloween costumes, and we'll talk about some Halloween decorations that we've done, and of course, trick or treating. So let's go. Let's do it. So the boys' first Halloween pump pumpkin. <laughs> So the boys' first Halloween costume, they were pumpkins. What I did that first year was I basically took one of these regular Halloween costumes that are pumpkins for babies that come in like a bright fluorescent orange. And I wanted to just upgrade it a little bit, making it a little bit nicer and different. So I had a seamstress sew some velvet on the boys' outfit. And I did do them the same color, but the green that they had were was a little different, so I don't remember who had what, but one had a lighter green, the other one had a darker green, but it's just a great way to kind of not reinvent the whole wheel, but use something that is fairly inexpensive and making it look much nicer. The leaves I got off of Etsy, they look like a hot mess right now, but for the actual Halloween, they looked adorable. And then Dennis and I dressed up as scarecrows and I loved, I loved our first Halloween costumes. They were so cute. My costume basically was a lot of things that I had already owned. I just kind of repurposed them and hot glued a lot of things to it to make it look like a scarecrow along with hat. And then for Dennis, I did buy the overalls and we just kind of added some material and some hay to make him look like a scarecrow and then obviously painted our faces, but it was a fairly easy Halloween costume to make. And for the boys' second costume, last year, we were all clowns. Last summer, COVID cases had dropped where we thought COVID was practically over. And then at the end of the summer, the cases started rising a lot. And it was actually a very difficult time because just when we thought it was over, it wasn't. And it just felt like this ongoing circus. So we figured, you know, no matter what's going on in the world, we're going to have fun. And who else but clowns loves to have fun. So that's what we decided to go with clowns. There was a message there and they ended up being super, super cute. Those costumes I did design myself. I bought the shirts and then had the pants made and then I made the pom-poms and I made the hat. And then for Dennis and I, again, I used stuff that we already had. I believe I made the long tie that I had, but you know, it was a little DIY costume. Halloween costumes are here. I'm so excited. Let's see. Let's start off with mine. So I am going to be part of the Dean's Pit Crew. Check it out. How cute is this? So we personalized them with our name. I am part of the pit crew. We put the American flag and some little race car flags. Zips. But easy access, super cute, right? And then we have Deans. How cute. Can't you just see the boys in this? He has the American flag, the number two, because he's two and some flags. So the reason why we chose 
Dean wearing the race car because he's really obsessed with cars, like at another level. And then we have Papa Dennis. And a top gun. And then of course we had to put the Linda Home Center, which is the family business because we're always marketing. We have his name and we put the flag. How cute. And then lastly is Devin. So cute. So we put the little top gun, of course the Linda Home Center logo and the flag. So that's, those are our costumes. Can't wait to put them on. One of our followers actually helped me design the Halloween costumes and made them in the Philippines. So a big, 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 big shout out to Mark for helping us make our Halloween costumes come true. We love them. Thank you so, so much. And to everyone out there in the Philippines, we love you. Okay, so we're ready to go to a Halloween party, Dennis and I, and I tried on the costume and it was a little too small in the crotch area where it was a little uncomfortable. So I cut it. I cut it and I'm about to hot glue the bottom just because I was very uncomfortable. And as a dad, comfort has to come first. If you're not comfortable, then it's not worth wearing. And I think it still looks cute in, uh, as kind of like a jacket, you know? Because I could, I could barely walk with the, the other way. And I just put a gray cap and a shirt to go with it. Mark, don't kill me, but it had to be done. It was... A little too tight. And all else fails, glue gun to the rescue. Okay, so let's see what you look like. Oh, wow. So hot. You ready for tonight? I'm ready. Now, yeah. that was hot food. Let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's okay. Well, it's just... <laughs> it sways to the left like you do. All right, let's go. Ready? <laughs> let's do it. Okay, boys. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. All right, here we go. Okay, so we are on our way to the Halloween party. Our house, as you saw, is fully decked out. If you haven't seen our Decorate With Me Halloween edition video, we will put it down below. This year came out incredible. Yeah, it looks great. And very different than last year. So I'm gonna play clips of this year and last year and let me know down in the comments which one did you like better? Did you like last year's or this year? They're very different, but I think I like this year better. Purple, which is this year, or orange, which was last year? Let me know down in the comments. Vámonos. Let's do it. We go home at like 3 a.m. No, we gotta get these boys up. This is why we don't go out because the next day we're dead, literally. 
Okay, first trunk or treat all set up. It is really, really, really hot, but we're done. These parents went all out. Look at this. Okay, we are trick-or-treating. We are in Coral Gables in Santa Maria Street where they close off the street and there's these humongous houses giving out the Tons good candy. candy. You know, the good shit. Say hi, boys. Say hi. We got the Marzoa Cousins, a cheerleader, and He-Man. And the boys have a pimped out ride with flags and lights because it's a long walk. Here we go. Bum. Mira, say trick or treat. A toothbrush. Tu eres dentista. Oh my God. He's giving out toothbrushes because he's a dentist. Oh my God. They're like, thanks. <laughs> Gracias. I want this house. I mean, can you see the Marzoa family living in this house? Perfectly manicured lawn. So I just asked in this house how many candies they give out and she said 10,000 pieces of candy. That's insane. No wonder some of the houses haven't chosen to give out candy because that's expensive. I mean, I guess for them it's not that much, but 10,000 pieces of candy, that's a lot of kids. We got Tio. Ya está cansado, nene. Nene está cansado. Look at this house. Te gusta esa casa, nene? Mira el dinosaurio. I love the fountain. We got Tio Jim dressed up as a Cuban. Okay, we hope that you had a happy and safe Halloween reporting to you from Miami, the Marzoa Don't family. Don't eat too much candy. Don't eat too much candy, kids. The Marzoa family is signing out, sending you much love. We love you guys. Bye.